Hi everyone, uh, so you'll probably notice I've been using the Volca Modular quite a lot since I bought it. Um, it's been all over my channel for a while. But I've known since I bought it that it has a bit of a distortion problem. And, but it's taken me till today to work out how to actually solve this. Uh, the issue is that when you use both low pass gates running into the output uh, with a loud signal, it will cause a distortion. So I've got a, just a basic patch set up here with no connections. I've got a little bit of release on all the fold, ratio and mod knobs turned down. We get a nice clean sort of, I think it's a triangle wave um, out of one of the sources. If we then add, take a wire from the uh, function on the left to the, where is it, the middle connection I think of the second low pass gate. And then we take the sound, so it's the second uh, to right connection on the source, which is our uh, ratio source. And then, so that's that low sound, which is also a nice, pure sort of triangly sine wave kind of thing. Um, but if we turn them both up, we've got this little kind of raspy kind of distortion coming in. So I think what's happening here is that we're at, they're at a reasonable level individually, but once we add them both together, the voltage is just a little bit too much for the output stage, and it's distorting. Um, we can back off the cutoffs a little bit. Until it goes away, but then we're completely changing the tone of our sound. But luckily, because the Volca Modular is modular, we have access to all the connections that we need to solve this problem. So, if we, if we take a quick look at these, these are the two... Um, uh, low pass gates, the right hand connection on each of these is actually the audio output of each of them. And then on the output stage here, the left hand connection is the input. So we can replace the input to the output stage and we can also tap directly into the output of the two low pass gates. What we need to do is to grab a couple of resistors. These are just the first ones I laid my hands on. They are 2.2K. I imagine different sizes will work, but I haven't tried them. If we use our split to go from the right hand side here into one of the, let's say the top right connection, just to make it clear, the same into the top middle connection. We're then mixing those two signals together. We can take the output from the left top connection, run that into our output. Suddenly we've got the same sound, but no distortion. So that's both the oscillators mixed together. Now this obviously uses one of your splits, which is a shame. So what I've done, well, it, alternatively to what I've done, you can run your connections out onto a breadboard and add your resistors there and back on, but that's kind of cumbersome because you've got this extra lump. So what I've done is I've made up this little thing in the shed with soldering iron, which is just a couple of solid core wires with the same setup on it. So we can whack those in to the same connections, right and right, and then left. And the same, we've got a nice clean pair of um, oscillators. So you may find this is slightly different. This is just my experience with my vocal modular. It'd be really interesting to know if anybody else is having this problem. It might be mine is calibrated wrong, or it's just from a batch that was maybe set up slightly differently. Uh, my serial number, if I can get it off my blue tack. Let's have a look. My serial number is 006464. So please let me know in the comments below if I'm gonna nerdily line that back up again. Um, please let me know in the comments below if you have the same problem and if it's the same kind of batch or maybe you don't have the same problem at all so yeah please let me know i am going to stick some tape on this by the way just to keep the connections nice and insulated um just watch the shade before i get it all wrapped up ready to go so thanks very much for watching yeah please comment and subscribe and all that stuff cheers see you again